sleep in. Uh, today I've got something for you I've been working on for a couple of days now. Um, recently I found out about this DirectX overlay method uh, which involved uh, C Sharp and um, I saw some people use it and I thought this was really good um, to do some work with. Um, some guys that are known cheats came up with this method or at least that's who I thought came up with it and um, these guys happen to be, or at least this guy happens to be recruit uh, known cheats so I'll put him in the credits there of this application that I did and as you can see um, I did this application so you can um, it's, it's basically as you can read is an external crosshair so what this does is it runs your own crosshair over any game or application you like okay uh, this is really good I think it's really good and I've been testing it out on a couple of games well it works in every game I tested it on that's not a problem or application and I've been testing it out and I've noticed that it's really good and uh, and it helps you um, I wouldn't say improve your accuracy I really can't say that without many people testing this but I've noticed that you know some of these crosshairs really help you out so I did this because I thought it was really cool to create your own custom crosshair and stuff and um, and then I ended up adding a ton of other features to it that I think come up really useful so I'm just gonna show you this quickly on a small application and I'll show you this in game so first thing that I'd like to say is uh, obviously this works for every game pretty much and uh, every application I've seen some small problems in using things this in things like uh, Windows Media Player that's the only time I found problems with it um, and obviously the beauty of this is if you do enjoy it you can play uh, your favorite you know whatever game that is with your own custom crosshairs every time so that's I think really good so I'm gonna open a calculator application here obviously this will work just fine in any game but calculator would be a good example to show you this on so uh, I'll choose calculator, choose the game window and then you can choose your own hotkey from a list of them and then you can for example I'm gonna press F1 now and boom oops uh, oh my F lock is on oh crap Oh, there is. Sorry, I didn't see that come up. My bad. I was a bit worried that didn't work for some reason there. Um, there you go. So, um, this is like um, a, it's like a trick if you think about it. It's like a trick. So if I do this, so as you can see, it's a bit slow right now because I got fraps running. But as you can see, it follows the game. But usually, your game won't be moving. Anyways, so what you can do is you've got a series of many um, many shapes you can use as a crosshair. So you've got quite a few good things, and this one here is my personal favorite. And then you can choose any color you like from from a list of things here: green, um, blue, and so on. You get the idea. Yellow and pink, whatever. Some of them will suit games better. And then you can choose to have that crosshair in three different sizes: medium and large. This one is my favorite by far. This specific one, this uh, thingy on large, is just really good because well, I'll show you when you're aiming. You've got like this focus dot in the middle, and then you've got um, you've got like a, a circle where you only shoot within that circle. So I think it really helps your aim improve. Um, this one here is for those of you that know a lot of uh, people that play Call of Duty and want to quick scope and do things like that. They put a bit of tape on the center of the screen. So if you're playing Call of Duty or any other, uh, if you're a fan of using snipers, this should really help you. Uh, obviously, you've got three different sizes. I think small is the best for this. Uh, yeah, small is the best for this, I think, or medium actually depends on your game. But um, anyways, so you can use any of these crosses in whatever game you like, and I think it's really cool, uh, cool stuff. Um, so I'd like you guys to um, test this out and see. Obviously, I've added this here as well because some games, um, the the crosshair isn't exactly centered. So I've done this. So if you find a game with the crosshair a little bit off, you adjust it to what you like. And the beauty of this is when you turn this off, everything gets saved, or everything's already saved. So next time you turn your application on, uh, you'll have everything exactly as you left it. So for those of you, so I don't think I showed this one. This one's like one of my favorites as well. So as you can see, you can put this overlay, and it'll work on top of any game. So um, um, before I show you this at work, I'm just going to tell you about some setbacks. Because this uses... Um, uh, the DirectX overlay with managed, um, well, it's managed DirectX in C Sharp. Uh, some things you can't do. So this will only work for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, or obviously any future Windows that has the Aero uh, display. Um, I don't know how it's called, but it's like the Visual Enhancement System. So Windows XP people, I'm sorry, but this won't work for you. Um, 
this will also only work for games that are in windowed mode I am going to look for a solution to that and hopefully post a new version with the solution to that um, yeah so remember Windows 7 Windows Vista for now only works and windowed but other than that it I think is really good so um, I'd like to know what you guys think of it obviously I'm going to show you this at work and then I would like you to test it yourselves if you can and um, this was obviously just something I wanted to do uh, on my own time and um, look at this fucking hell that's as good as I could make my spy it looks really weird honestly it's like creepy but um, yeah I'll show you this in action now and hopefully you guys can uh, test it yourselves and uh, um, make something good of it so please check it I want to change my hotkey to something like alt actually caps lock works out for me alright uh, so I'm going to just tap caps lock and there you go as you can see turn on and off so I'm going to test this now and uh, hopefully you guys will like this so close that so a couple of final things I'd like to mention before running this um, there is absolutely no chance of you getting banned of whatever game you are playing with this that, I think that's the beauty of it um, because this is an overlay and it's like a trick um, it doesn't actually access the game's memory in any way and it doesn't actually touch the game at all so if you're playing something like a Valve, uh, Valve game or whatever there's absolutely no chance of you getting banned with this Okay, that's the beauty of it. So you can have your crosses in whatever game you like and you'll never get banned for it because this doesn't access any memory, this doesn't write to memory and it only works, that's why we need to have it on the desktop because it only writes over your, um, it's like puts a fake display on top of your game and then it puts your crosshair there. Okay, so there's absolutely no chance of you getting banned with this uh, and there was something else I'd like to mention but I forgot so I hope you'll remember that in a second. So I'm going to run the game now, I believe... Uh, hopefully Call of Duty won't lag too much so I can show you this in action um, I'll show you at the end I'll show you a couple more games of this in action and then uh, um, I'll show you a couple games more uh, of this in action and um, you know that way you can see how it works so I've adjusted the crosses to be perfect with Call of Duty which is what most games I think this one's centered right in the perfect place but some games will be a little bit off so you can always adjust your own crosshair that's fine um, so we're going to start new server, game settings, no, 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 it's a bit slow but there you go. So, um, yeah, so uh, this was something very simple to do in terms of code but it, I think it's really useful. I mean the smileys were, the, or the crosses should I say, were the more difficult thing to do, really. Uh, but overall it was really good to do. Obviously this is a brand new thing and I haven't tested this like incredibly uh, too much. So um, I'd like you guys to test it if you could. And uh, if you have any bugs or problems, let me know uh, in the comments or on my site, because I'll have a release there as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is really slow, but it should be good enough to show some. So I'm just going to choose uh, Call of Duty here, and I need to record the whole desktop, so I can't just record the game, because if I just record the game, it won't show the cross there, although in your example it will, obviously. So I'm going to run this, so... I put this one here so as you can see look at that beauty perfect on the thingy and right there you can increase it you can put what you like on so you can use any of the ones you like you got the smiley there as you can see his nose is right on the dot so you can always aim for that you got the predator light and you've got this one which is for the those people that are into quick scoping and doing things so as you can see you've got an immediate advantage here because let's say you're about to go into someone boom you can put one right in the middle of them and you don't even need a cross there so this will help you improve your aim uh, almost guaranteed um, obviously I don't know too much about this but it's more for them people that um, play COD and you've tried to get into quick scoping. I've heard about a lot of people using the scotch tape method put it on your screen so this is obviously a favorite for that the beauty of this obviously you can play in whatever color you like uh, you can put uh, whatever uh, colorful you cross here I think that's really cool um, this like I said to you is my favorite for quite a few reasons like the large version of it because yeah, you've got like a massive dot um, and you can like um, you got like a circle around it which really helps you if you just want a dot you can go for something like this here uh, let's go a bit smaller maybe uh, there you go so you can go for something like that but I really like this one so please guys please download it and test it and uh, if you think it's cool please tell your friends about it I'd really appreciate that because this is one of those apps that I do that they end up like having almost no one look at them 
and I, I think it's a, a pretty useful one I'll be using it myself when I play games because I've noticed I, I'm getting a lot more hits when I'm playing it work on absolutely any game if it doesn't work on a game let me know and I'll try and find a fix for it um, it probably won't make a difference if it doesn't work on a game though but it will work on most games um, remember this you have to run the game in windowed mode there's a couple usually your game will have an option to be running windowed mode uh, in your settings uh, please test it out uh, I hope you guys enjoy this um, and yeah uh, this was quite fun to do and um, any problems with it please let me know in the comments and I'll try and fix them please give me some good details and uh, yeah so hopefully that will work out I'm gonna try and spawn some bots I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do very well because of the uh, freezage obviously no other reason but um, joking aside yeah, this is, I get quite a few low frames. As you can see, top guy out there. And as you can see, obviously in games, quite a few games, quite a few games you'll have. Um, oh, don't kill me, come on. In quite a few games you'll have. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you have a crosshair, obviously, a bit adjusted to the side. So, you know, modify this to whatever you like. Can't see anyone there. There's someone head. <laughs> oh, too much freeze edge. No, there you go. I got one. But yeah, I, I can. I'll show you a bit of gameplay quickly now. You won't see the crosshair, but I'll have the crosshair on. Uh, I'll be running it with the game focused only. Okay, so that's what will happen. And you can see, you know, obviously I'm not a great player of COD, but I'm not a bad player either. So I'll show you that now. So here I am in the game by myself. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a um, crap. There shouldn't be a crosshair on your screen, but that I am using it. If you can't see it, which you probably won't, I am using it at the end of the day. Um, but um, I'm just gonna try and get close to these guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Try and get them straight in the head. But the beauty of it is you can have any dot you like. Um, at the moment, I'm using my favorite, which is the big, uh, the large. Uh, dot with a center in the minute. It looks like a, a booby for those of you that love those things. Oh, come on. Down bots are good. Uh, but uh, Obviously, guys, uh, I can't think of any excuses right now for my performance, but uh, I, I'm sure there's one somewhere. Um, just got a fix coming over there. Oops. Obviously, the sniper is uh, dodgy and it's not working well, but I'm sure you guys can do a better job than me. Uh, Oh, come on, he's shooting at me. Come on. What the hell? But yeah. So I've got that one there. I'll put one of my favorites, which is G3. I'm playing against bots, as you guys know, obviously. Um, so I'm going to put the G3 on. Hopefully do a bit better. And I'm probably wasting time, as usual. I always waste time in these videos. Dun, 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 dun. Um... Yeah, so please test this out, guys. I'd really love it if you guys could give me some feedback on how this works and if it works well. Um, remember, XP and does not work on XP. It should only be Windows Vista lovers. What the hell? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, it should work beautifully in most games. Uh, okay. So if it doesn't, just adjust, adjust your red dot sight. Screw you, bastard. He's trying to kill me. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. Please test it out. I'd really appreciate that. And um, and I'll leave the video right where we are. I think. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, then, guys, that's pretty much it. Then um, I'd really appreciate if you test it out. Obviously, um, that'd be great. Really great for me. Um, Leave some feedback in the comments if you'd like something added to it, if you enjoyed the uh, crosshair or anything like that. Um, obviously, if you'd like any additions, such as like an extra color or maybe an extra crosshair, I probably won't add any more crosshairs though because they're quite difficult to draw some of them and they're a bit time consuming. Uh, I think they're good enough because there's a, a variety there. Um, if you enjoy this, obviously, please leave a rating, um, that'd be great. Um, and if you like using this, uh, I'd, I'd really like if you share it with your friends um, and get them to give me some feedback on it as well. Uh, I'd like to get as many people's opinions on this as possible, please. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.